This is the unboxing of my Cross AMB 1050 FME PDI. The DI stands for Digital Interface, which now allows my machine to control my router speed directly to my router without the use of a VFD or any other device except for the breakout board. So looks like we got some Russian well it says dash P so I'm hoping this is a digital interface otherwise uh Oh yeah, I see it now. So this is a three-wire system. Um, one is uh, 12 to 26 volt, and that controls the power. The white one is a ground. And the green one, I believe, is your 0 to 10 volts control voltage. At 1 volt, this router spindle will turn on to 5,000 RPMs which is the minimum RPMs and then at 9 volts it'll go 100% power which is, or 100% of its RPMs which is uh, 25,000 RPMs we got uh, a cable I think this is 3 meters long um, it does have a European style connector this is a 220 volt model um, the nice thing I just noticed is these connectors, um, if I can get a good picture, you, you remove that screw and these two screws and that should allow you access to um, the internal terminals which then you can probably make a cord as long as you need. Now my CNC is only 25 inches by 25 inches but I have drag chain conduit and... Um, that all my wiring has to be 25 feet long in order to reach my controller. So let's, wow, this is heavy. It's got a 43 millimeter spindle or a 43 millimeter stainless body um, for your um, spindle mount. Um, it appears to have an on and off switch. I don't know if that it should be functional hold on but this router is 100% controlled by its digital interface so in other words i mean most people probably know this but um in other words this this router cannot be turned on manually so it's all done electronically now they have a router that you can select the speed um, however that router is only twenty dollars cheaper than this model so we have a I think it's an ER or EG oh I don't even know I think it's a, an 11 or a 16 it's not the AMB Crest collets this is a standard collet which I can purchase from, I can purchase a whole set of these collets from anywhere from China to um, MSC, McMaster Car. Um, it's a standard collet that you would use for any type CNC's. Um, this, uh, I think, is, I don't know what the specs are. I had looked them up at one point in time, but um it's heavy uh it weighs about three pounds i think is what the specs said um the only thing bad about it is i have no way to see if this runs uh until i hook it up digitally but at least it'll save me from um configuring a VFD and all that which really isn't a big deal but it's just one more 
piece of equipment that I have to have on my router on my CNC that I really don't need if I buy a router like this. So the total cost of this router, I'm imagining, because it's imported from Germany. This is my first German tool. It's an AMB, which used to be Cress. I guess AMB bought Cress. Um, so the total out the door packing with shipping was $438. And it was purchased from Midwest Midwest Circuit Technology out of Aurora, Ohio. And um, the the website is mctinfo.net. Now they have a whole slew of these. I ordered this thing on Wednesday. It is now Friday, and um, I already received it, so I didn't have to wait. And the email response was pretty much immediately. Um, I emailed the info to get more information on what they had. And 20 minutes later, I got a phone call, um, and the guy answered all my questions he was very very helpful and i was really happy to find out i knew nothing about this model um and when he told me about it i was uh, extremely excited because i had found a solution that is a way better solution in my opinion than buying a a big spindle and having all the overhead of that plus it's a small it's a small form. I think here's your push button for your lock, for your spindle. So we'll see, and I'll shoot another video and post it when I get her all hooked up. Talk to you later.